Hello friends, uh, this is my first video on fluid mechanics subject. So I will cover in this video most important multiple choice questions for fluid mechanics subject. Uh, this video will be useful for those students who are preparing for RTO main exam and also for other technical competitive exam. So let us start for this. First, if a person studies about a fluid which is at rest, then it is called as. Then we call it as a fluid statics. So fluid statics is the study of fluids at rest. Fluid kinematic means study of fluids which are in motion without consideration of forces acting on it and fluid dynamics means study of fluids which are in motion with consideration of forces acting on it. Next the value of compressibility of ideal fluid is we know that ideal fluid is a incompressible fluid hence the value of compressibility of ideal fluid is zero. Value of viscosity of ideal fluid is again the ideal fluid is a non viscous fluid hence the value of viscosity is zero next the dynamic viscosity of most of the gases with the rise in temperature so here the viscosity of gases with rise in temperature will increase because with the rise in temperature gaseous molecules will move at faster speed due to this there will be viscosity rise with rise in temperature but in case of liquid viscosity will decrease with rise in temperature fifth the unit of dynamic viscosity so here the unit of dynamic viscosity is Newton second per meter square. How? We know that dynamic viscosity is equal to shear stress upon rate of shear strain. So shear stress is tau. Unit is Newton per square meter. Rate of shear strain means change velocity with respect to change in distance. So here unit of velocity is meter per second. Unit of distance is meter. So after solving this we will get Newton second per square meter as a unit of dynamic viscosity. Next the stoke is a unit of so basically stoke is a unit of kinematic viscosity. A Newtonian fluid is defined as a fluid. So it is a fluid which obey the Newton's law of viscosity. What is Newton's law of viscosity? That is shear stress is directly proportional to rate of shear strain is the Newton's law of viscosity. Next, the dynamic viscosity of a fluid is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton second per square meter. Density is 600 kg per meter cube. The kinematic viscosity is. So here kinematic viscosity is nothing but dynamic viscosity divided by density just put the values for dynamic viscosity and the density you will get 20 into 10 to the power minus 8 as a kinematic viscosity anemometer is used to measure so anemometer is used to measure velocity of fluid flow so velocity is measured by anemometer what is the dynamic viscosity of a liquid having kinematic viscosity 6 stoke and a specific gravity 2? So here we can calculate the dynamic viscosity by kinematic viscosity multiplying with specific gravity. Here kinematic viscosity is 6 stoke and specific gravity is 2. If you put the values 6 into 2 you will get 12 poise as a dynamic viscosity. Differential manometers are used for. So here 
differential manometers are used to measure the pressure difference between the two points. Which of the following quantity inside the droplet or jet is higher due to surface tension? We know that surface tension is dependent on pressure. So here pressure will be higher in case of droplets or jet due to higher surface tension. Next, if the pressure difference between the inside and outside of liquid droplet of 3 mm dia is 16 Newton per square meter, then surface tension will be. So here surface tension will be 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton per meter. How? We know that pressure for a liquid droplet pressure difference will be equal to 4 sigma by d where sigma is surface tension, d is the diameter. So here you have to calculate surface tension. So rearranging this equation, we will get sigma equal to pressure into diameter upon 4. Just put the value for pressure that is 16 Newton per square meter. Diameter is 3 mm. You can uh, make it into meter 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter divided by 4. You will get 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton per meter as a pressure. A soap bubble of d mm dia have a pressure inside the bubble is 0.075 Newton per square meter. If the surface tension is 0.075 then the value of d is. So here it is a soap bubble. Again it is a hollow bubble hence the pressure will be equal to 8 sigma by d as it is a hollow bubble. Given is pressure inside the bubble is given and the surface tension value that is sigma is given here 0.075 just put the value we will get the value of d as 0.8 next bulk modulus of elasticity is so bulk modulus of elasticity is directly proportional to pressure so bulk modulus of elasticity is increased with pressure so this is asked two times in RTO main exam. Viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius is. So viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 1 centipoise. And 1 centipoise is 0 0.01 poise. So here 0 0.01 poise can be written as 1 upon 100 poise. So remember viscosity of water at 20 degrees celsius is 1 upon 100 points or 1 centi points. Atmosphere pressure held in terms of water column is. So here atmosphere pressure held in terms of water column is 10.3 meter. How? We know that one atmosphere pressure is nothing but 1.013 bar. Pressure is nothing but rho g h density acceleration due to gravity and height height means water column height here density of water is 1000 the value of g is 9.81 and the h will be say 10.3 so after solving this we will get 101325 pascal which can be written as 1.013 bar so for one atmospheric pressure the water column height will be 10. 3 meter. In a capillary tube, the weight of liquid rays is supported by. So, in case of a capillary tube, the weight of the liquid rays is supported by vertical component of the surface tension. So, it depends on the surface tension. Next, the capillary rise or fall of a liquid is given by. So, here the answer is A. Actually, this question was asked in uh, R2 exam in 2013 and uh, here four options are wrong. Uh, first option is correct if we take 4 sigma cos theta upon rho gd. So, correct answer is h will be equal to 4 sigma cos theta upon rho gd. You need to remember this. Next, raindrops are spherical. 
because of now this is because of a phenomena of surface tension they are spherical they take a spherical shape because of surface tension phenomenon thank you for watching